Hello everybody, this is Uma from Success Law Classes. Today we are going to discuss the case law of Supreme Court. The Honorable Supreme Court stays in GT order imposing rupees 12,000 crores cost on state of Maharashtra for improper management of solid and liquid waste. Cost title of this case law is the state of Maharashtra versus National Green Tribunal, Diary Number 44889 of 2023. The date of order is 28th November 2023. In this case, the Honorable Supreme Court on 28th November 2023 stayed the order of the National Green Tribunal, which had in 2022 directed the state of Maharashtra to deposit a cost of rupees 12,000 crores in a ring-fenced account for failure to treat solid and liquid waste generated in the state. The learned senior advocate appearing for the state of Maharashtra argued against the amount imposed and informed the bench that a review against the same was pending before the NGT. He said, there are so many zeros that I cannot even count in the fine. There is a review pending before the NGT. The NGT had levied the substantial environmental compensation, citing alleged negligence in managing both solid and liquid waste, leading to environmental harm. The fine imposed under Section 15 of the NGT Act aimed to address the ongoing environmental damage and align with Supreme Court directives mandating the tribunal to oversee adherence to management norms. To prevent further harm and restore past damage, the NGT had highlighted the necessity of fixing quantified liability. The compensation determined by the tribunal amounted to rupees 12,000 crores. This sum was to be deposited by the state of Maharashtra within two months into a separate ring-fenced account. Chief Secretary was directed to oversee the utilization of these funds for restoration measures including sewage treatment and utilization systems, upgrading operations, compliance with standards and proper sewage and sludge management in rural areas. NGT had stated we determine compensation payable by the state of Maharashtra in respect of gap in treatment of liquid waste and sewage that is 5420.33 MLD compensation works out to rupees 10840.66 crores and compensation for unremediated legacy waste to the extent of 3 crores 94 lakhs 19,287 works out roughly to about rupees 1200 crores. We round off the compensation amount rupees 12,000 crores which may be deposited by the state of Maharashtra in a separate ring fenced account within two months to be operated as per directions of the Chief Secretary and utilized for restoration measures. For solid waste management, the action plan was, as per the NGT order, entailed setting up waste processing plants and remediating 84 sites. It was stated that the bio remediation and bio mining processes had to adhere to Central Pollution Control Board guidelines with recovered materials used through authorized channels. The restoration plan was mandated to be executed in a time-bound manner with potential additional compensation for continued violations. Remediation and bio-mining process need to be executed as per Central Pollution Control Board guidelines and the stabilized organic waste from bio-mining as well as from compost plants 
need to comply with let down specifications other materials recovered during such processes are to be put to use through authorized dealers handlers and others these restoration plan needs to be planned and executed in a time bound manner without further delay if violations continue liability to pay additional compensation may have to be considered compliance will be the responsibility of the chief secretary the ngt bench had said this so thank you all please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video